Welcome to part two in this series on how to create your first app in RTIS App Studio. In this video, we'll learn how to edit components, add text, style them, and perform other actions that allow you to customize your first App Studio app. Let's go back to the app and let's make some changes to this app here. So what are some simple things we can change on the app here? To start with, let's change the, the text on this header bar to say something that is not page title. Let's also change the background color on the center bar from uh, blue to something that is more of a green. Let's change the number of nav buttons at the bottom from four to more like two. So I think four is too many. Let's change something in the center to add more images. We can add more text and they'll be different based on whatever item is being clicked on in the nav bar. Okay, first item to edit, the header text. We needed to say something that is not page title. So let's check where we would do that. Okay, so if I scroll down the app component, I see here that there are several components that contain template pages. Let me try to see if template page has what I need. So I'm going to press Control on my keyboard and click into template page. And there we go. We see that there's a string called page title and that's been assigned to the property title text, which we can change to say whatever we want and it'll update the header text. An alternative way to check uh, where page title is being used is in Qt Creator, I can just search for page title and it'll tell me where it's being used. And that's an easy way to check where I can edit. Okay, I'm going to change page title to say my first app. Let's start there. Let's run this app. Press Control R since I'm on Windows. App is running. And there we go. It says my first app. Now let's change the background color on the header bar. So it looks like template page, which we're looking at here, is a page component from QML. And it has a property called header which we're utilizing to build the header bar up here. And within toolbar, it looks like there's a property called material.primary, which is assigned a value that the app has defined in the My App page called primary color. Let's see what this color is, and let's see about changing it to a green. So let's Google RGB color picker. Paste my hex code in. You'll see that it's about the blue that we have on our header bar there. Let's pick a more green color. Copy that. Bring it back into our app. Paste it. And let's run that. And looks like the header bar has a new background color now. Great, now let's edit the uh, bottom nav bar to have only two or three buttons instead of four. Great, so if we scroll down on the app component here, we'll see that there's a list model that is rendering or using four different list elements, items one through four, and we can start there. Let's delete two of these list elements, select those, delete. And also we see here that these template pages are also using two extra items that we don't need. So we can delete those as well and uh, run it. See what we get. Great, we have just the exact amount of tabs we need at the bottom. We have changed the color at the top and also the header text. Now let's change the center component to say something else and also show an image based on the uh, item we're clicking on. So if I go into my app page, Let's call this instead of item one into uh, home and contact us. Call this home and contact us. Right, let's run that. You'll see that it updates our uh, navigation buttons with the text and also the center component as well. Now let's go to template page. 
scroll down past the header property, which is the toolbar, and go to this rectangle. So what we're trying to do here is edit the content in the center here. So we've scrolled past header, and it looks like this is what we want to mess with. We have here a base rectangle inside which there's a color property and anchors property. Uh, basically, it's asking the rectangle to take up the whole width and height of the parent. So that's what it's doing here. There's no um, extra border or space in the sides. And inside that rectangle is a label type. And inside this label type, we have a text property, which is rendering whatever text we put in there. But let's leave label there, because we just want to add some extra text to the bottom of that label. Let's add a text component. And I want to see what properties I can use to add some text here. So I'm going to check documentation. I can either check documentation in the Help tab of Qt Creator, or I can just Google QML text. And the first result that I get looks like it's a Qt documentation. I click into it, and I get the text QML type documentation. And in the documentation for text, I have font as an option which comes with uh, many properties within font itself, so I can also use those. I have color, and I have text as a property. So I can assign a string to text, which uh, shows the text display. So let's try that. All right, back in Qt Creator, let's type in text, and let's put in some random text in for now. We put in some lorem ipsum text. Run that. See where that text appears, because it may not appear where we want it to. Okay, so you can see that it appears at the very top. We want that to appear under our label. So what we're going to do is assign label an ID, call it text label, and then under text, I'm going to assign an anchor property, or anchors, which is an object inside which I'll assign a top property value of text label dot bottom. So what that's going to do is it's going to take the top anchor of text and it's going to anchor that to the bottom of text label. I'm also going to add a top margin of 10 and hopefully that'll fix the uh, anchoring issues we were seeing earlier. I'm going to run that. And you'll see here that once the app renders, the text is where we want it to be but it's not aligned well, nor is the uh, styling of the text very pleasing. I'm going to add a couple of properties to text here that will make it a little better to look at and read. So first one I'm going to add is the same one that we see here in label, font.pixel size. Now font is a property that is common to both text and label. I think label inherits from text. That's probably how that works. But font.pixel size is something I can assign here to a, um, an integer. I'm going to say, uh, let's start with 15, see how that goes. And also assign a property of alignment. Let's see how to align the text more center. I'm going to look at horizontal alignment here. All right. So horizontal alignment. And we can assign values to horizontal alignment of text.align. And um, any one of these are uh, good options. So in our case, we want center, horizontal center. And now that we've assigned font size and a uh, horizontal alignment, let's run the app, see how it looks. Looks a little better, but still it's not centered quite right. So what I'm going to do is going to inside anchors, we're, we're going to apply a horizontal center property. I'm going to say, anchor the center of the text to its parent's horizontal center value. And let's run that. Okay, and it looks a little better. Thanks for checking out part two in this series on how to get started with creating apps in App Studio. Make sure you watch part three to learn more about adding images and putting finishing touches on your app.